It's Easter time, let's make some festive bunnies. For this project, you will need a piece of watercolor paper, a brown paper bag, scissors, a glue stick, pencil, white crayon, a sharpie pen, a piece of paper towel, paint brushes, watercolors, and a water container. Start with your brown paper bag ripping off the handles. You will then go back in with your scissors and cut out a piece of the paper that you can use for your project today. We're going to begin with drawing our bunny. Getting your sharpie or you can start with your pencil, you're going to curve down and around creating a nice oval shape that's narrow on the top and wider on the bottom. Towards the bottom, we're going to create a nice V and off that V a nice curved line that comes up in the middle and do the same thing on the other side, creating the nose and mouth of our bunny. Go back up, create your eyes, a circle with a dot in the middle on both sides towards the side of the head. Then create the bottom part of the body. This part will be going off the page and some fun little whiskers coming off of the nose. Next, we get to move up to the ears. We're gonna create the big, long ears of a bunny rabbit and the inside part of his ear. Doing the same on the other side. Using the white crayon, go back where the nose and the mouth are, filling it in with the crayon nice and dark. This will help resist when we do watercolor on top so the white shows through. You can then accent the edges of the inside of the ear with the white crayon. The inside of the eyes adding a little white to make it pop and then adding lots of fur down on the bottom part of the body of the bunny. We're then going to mix up some water with our paints and start to decide, do I want my bunny to be purple, blue, green, brown, it's up to you today, and begin coloring inside the body of the bunny. You'll notice that the white crayon shows through as it resists the watercolor. Moving up to the head, decide what fun color you would like to use on your bunny today. My bunny is going to be multicolored with a blue head and a purple body and green ears. We'll make the inside of the ear stand out by making it a different color than the outside. Getting your bigger paintbrush and your black watercolor paint you're going to begin by getting water and mixing it together to create a nice black paint that you can use in your background. Make sure that your bunny rabbit is nice and dry before you begin going around him and painting the background.
With your watercolor paper, you're going to explore different patterns with your pencil. You could do dots, you could do zigzag lines, you could do bigger circles, you could also do some squiggly lines. On the other side of your watercolor paper, using your white crayon, explore different lines, pressing firmly with your crayon. We're then going to explore watercolor. Try putting water down and dripping colors into it, exploring the wet on wet technique. You can also try different colors on top of others and see what happens as they mix together. Continue to explore color as you apply watercolor all over your paper so there's no white showing. You'll notice wherever that white crayon was, it starts to show through. With your paper towel or cloth, begin dabbing on the watercolor to create texture and depth to your piece. When it's dry, flip it over. Using your pencil, we're going to begin by creating some long oval shapes that look like eggs. Begin to cut out around the lines of your eggs, revealing beautiful watercolor on the other side. Line up the eggs, overlapping them and deciding where you'd like to put them. Apply glue to the back of each egg and begin gluing them down on the bottom of your picture. Enjoy your bunny masterpiece and be sure to put it up somewhere special for Easter. And remember, every mark you make truly does matter.